Hi floppy cutters, today we're doing the final product review video for the Pet Libro Glacier Pet Fountain, which is this one right here. Pet Libro Glacier Pet Fountain is the world's first crafted stainless steel water fountain that has a human grade ultra filtration functionality. That human grade ultra filter lasts up to two months and it needs to be replaced every two months, but then the water needs to be replaced every week so that you can be sure that your cats are getting the freshest water that they can have. I have so appreciated it because Charlie's interest in drinking water now. He always wants fresh, clean water. And so every morning and every night I was replacing water and spending a lot of money on, you know, new bottles of water. And now he never begs for water. He can have it anytime he wants. And I like that as well. So I know that he's drinking right when he wants to and not because I haven't filled the water bowl yet. I'm filming this after we've had it for two weeks and you change out the water every week. So I put two liters of Mountain Valley water in this tank and then it circulates through. This portion of the unit is where all the like mechanical stuff is, but also where the filter is. When it's time to replace the filter, you just power off the unit. Be sure to unplug it. And then on the side here, this little part pops out. And then you just go ahead and pull out the filter, which has a really strong suction to it. Once you pull it out, you'll see that you'll hear that it has water in it. And then it'll have the two holes there. And then the new one you just put back in, press it in firmly, and then put the lid on top. You might recall from the unboxing that there were several of these pre-filters. These need to be switched out every two weeks, and they go in this black part that sits below the reservoir where the water sits. So you just, it has these tiny, tiny little attachments there that go into this portion here. And you literally can just, you know, pop this out and pop a new one in. That's how those work. Just be careful with this thing. It says to install it with two hands, but it, you can install it with one, but it might like flop off or whatever, uh, depending on, you know, the angle that you have this thing sitting at. But for most part, you know, if you just see those little black things sitting right there, then it will stay on and it won't be a problem. These two portions, they're just stainless steel and you can run them through the dishwasher if you want. And I did that when I first got the fountain. I ran the, them through the dishwasher twice. So I have just cleaned this again. This is our fourth time cleaning it. So this is week four during the review process. But you'll see that... There's still that hard water stain, even though I've just cleaned it off. And that hard water stain is from the water I'm choosing to use. So whether or not you get extra fountains when you or extra filters when you order the fountain, or if you order them after the fact, they will send you the pre-filters, as many as you need. So if it's every two weeks, then you should get, you know, four extra for one two-month filter if that makes sense. For those of you that saw our unboxing view and saw this brush, you might be wondering, what, why did they send that? What, what's the point of that? This is what it's used for. So once you take off the tank and everything, then you can take this part apart. And of course, you know, this is all unplugged and powered off. You take that part off, then you pull out this tube, and then you can take out this part. And I had a little bit of sediment in there. So, you know, you can take the brush to wipe that out or stick it down there and kind of roll it around and then run it under the faucet to get anything else out. And then this part was a little bit slimy and then it was a little slimy on the inside. And there was also some deposits that were, you know, from, from the spring water that I'm using on the inside. So I just took the brush on either side to clean it out and then I rinsed it underneath the faucet again. Then you add this little guy back in and there's a little hole here where you can put the tube back in. And then you put this whole side down and then put it back into the tank side. And then you wanna make sure that all that sits snugly in there. There's a little latch there 
Snap on it both sides so you know that it's snug like a bug in a rug. And then you're just gonna plug it back in and power it on if it's filled with water. Since it's not filled with water, then that's a little bit different, but that's um, how you go about adding it all back together after you clean it. And it has two motion sensors, I believe, that are right there. And so anytime I walk by it, it will turn on. And Charlie tends to drink right from where the water comes out of the filtration. A few other things that I wanted to mention, a reader asked after watching the unboxing video, what about cleaning the pump? And the manufacturer replied that the water pump is built in in the filtration unit, which is not detachable. It is separated from the water tank and will not get in touch with the water. Therefore, there's no need to clean the pump. And then another person asked, would love to see what the filters look like when changed and if there's any accumulation of pet hair anywhere. That reader said, our last water fountain stopped filtering the pet hair after two filter changes and burnt out the motor in between cleanings. So that's why I wanted to show you guys the pre-filter because there's a pre-filter that under that water tray, that's the preliminary filtration, and that helps to filter out floating hair. However, because cats and dogs eat and drink directly from the water tray, there may be hairs left on the water tray. And then there could be lime scale on the water tray. So it could be easier for pet hair to accumulate. So you just wanna keep up with cleaning the fountain like I've just done. Uh, a couple times in this video, I think I've shown there was hair on that tubular thing on the mesh side. And then I have had hair on that pre-filter as well. So it's not a cooling system. So it can't cool the temperature of the water even though it's called a glacier pet fountain but it stays very cool because my house stays cool. So as long as you have it in a cool spot out of the sun, it's gonna stay cool. And metal obviously also keeps water either hot or cold, depending on you know the ambient temperature, wherever it's placed. The Pet Libro Glacier Pet Fountain is the world's first crafted stainless steel water fountain that has a human grade ultra filtration functionality. That human grade ultra filter last up to two months and it needs to be replaced every two months, but then the water needs to be replaced every week so that you can be sure that your cats are getting the freshest water that they can have. I have so appreciated it because Charlie's interest in drinking water now, he always wants fresh, clean water. And so every morning and every night I was replacing water and spending a lot of money on, you know, new bottles of water and now he never begs for water. He can have it anytime he wants, and I like that as well. So I know that he's drinking right when he wants to and not because I haven't filled the water bowl yet. I'm really grateful to Pet Libro for sending us this fountain that they've just introduced. It is going to be a staple in our house. Not everything that I review stays in our home, and so I'm really grateful that not only did we get the opportunity to review this before it became on the market, but also that Charlie has loved it so much that he is using it all the time. I mean, I shouldn't say all the time, but many, many times throughout the day. Trig, I have not seen drink from it. That doesn't mean he's not drinking from it, but he also might not need to drink water right now. My cats are on raw food. And so normally when a cat gets all the moisture through their food, they don't need to drink water. They're, you know, cats aren't thirst driven an animals. Most cats though, that are on dry food are going to be drinking water a lot. So that's um, a good thing to have is, is fresh water if you feed your cat dry food. It's also one of the reasons I don't like to feed cats dry food because they shouldn't be thirsty. If they are thirsty, they could have compromised kidneys, which is my fear right now with Charlie. However, if he does have compromised kidneys, I want him to have a water source that is clean, filtering 99.9% .9 of bacteria out of the water so that the water that he is drinking to filter his kidneys is clean and safe for him to drink. So Pet Libro says to keep the water clean and keep the fountain working for longer, recommend changing the water and cleaning the water fountain at least once a week and replacing the filter and pre-filter regularly. It's suggested to replace the filter every two months and replace the pre-filter every two weeks. And if you have more than one pet, then you need to clean and, and replace the filter and pre-filter more often. I do have more than one pet, but he's not using the fountain, so I'm not worried about that. You'll see that our filter indicator lights 
are two now instead of three. So this is how the indicator status works. Three blue lights on means the filter life is 40 to 60 days. Two blue lights, the filter life is 20 to 40 days. One blue light, the filter life is seven to 20 days. And then one red light, the filter life is less than seven days. And then if the three lights are off, then the water fountain is powered off. Let me know what comments or questions you have in the comment section below. And also I will include a link to where you can buy this product online. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.